it's object oriented style or technique of programming that encapsulates code within objects that we will be seeing in our course so it is a interpreter this means that it is processed at runtime by the interpreter and you do not need to compile your program before executing this like any other programming language c c++ java perl php we should have to first compile the code and then we should have to execute but in the python we because it is an interpreted language we need not need to compile it we directly we will be executing the code and Python is interactive. This means that you can actually sit at a Python prompt and interact with the interpreter directly to write your program. And it is easy to learn and it contains all the good features from other languages. So it is easy to learn. It is means Python has relatively few keywords, simple structure and a clearly defined syntax this allows the students to pick up the language in a relatively short period of time it is easy to read python code is much more clearly defined and visibly to the eyes visible to the eyes and it has a huge library and it is portability and interface to all other major database and the advantage of Python is GUI programming. The Python supports GUI applications that can create and port it to many system calls, libraries, and Windows system, such as Windows MFC, Macintosh, and the X window system of Unix. And Python can run on wide variety of hardware platforms and has same interfaces on all platforms. This is the portability advantage of Python. So what applications we can build using Python programming language? We can build web application, we can build games to the desktop or mobile apps, mobile games for Android or iPhone, iOS, and we can create desktop application. We can do database programming and it is widely used in artificial intelligence, image processing, and you name it, we can do it with Python programs. So I want to show you some of the examples. So Python is the incredibly powerful tool for web development and more and more sites rely on it, including these powerful sites I am going to show you. So first one is YouTube. If you love watching hours of home and professional quality video clips on YouTube, you can thank Python for giving you that option. The foundation for Python helped YouTube integrate streaming videos into their pages as well as the ability to like videos and embed certain information. YouTube is one of the most popular sites on the internet and it runs off uh, one of the most powerful languages which is Python. And one more example is BitTorrent. So BitTorrent has evolved quite a bit in recent years but its foundation and earlier years were built on Python. And the next website I would like to first describe it first so it takes a lot of power to be able to handle the most popular search engine in the entire world that is why this website uses Python for its mainframe foundation as well as in addition to various apps that it runs in conjunction to the main site so can you guess the website it is the most popular website in the entire world Yes, it is Google. Google uses Python at the core. And the next website is Spotify. So, you know, if you listen to the music, you would have well known about the Spotify. Spotify changed the music game when it allowed you to listen to ad free music of your choice. And Spotify runs on Python. Like this Yahoo Maps, much like Google, Yahoo also uses Python for a variety of different resources. And Reddit, Reddit is one of the biggest open communities on the web. You have a question, want to talk about something in specific, you can go to Reddit. And Reddit is also built on Python. Quora, you got a question, ask it on Quora. Quora is also built in Python. 
and one more I want to show there are plenty like thousands of websites which are building now on Python which because it's the most powerful thing the last one is Instagram if you love taking photos of your food or a new outfit and posting it online for all of your friends to see you can thank Python for that ability so Instagram is also built on Python these are some of them there are hundreds of websites built on Python so these are all the topics we are going to cover in this course duration first we will be starting with the basic syntax we will be seeing all the variable types available in Python we will see start with the basic operations and we will see decision making using the if else statements loops using for loops while loops and we will see how to use the numbers strings unicode strings we will see the data type called lists tuples the difference between list and tuples we can also create a dictionary using python we will be seeing how to create it we will be then going to the functions and function arguments how to pass the argument in the function and we will be seeing what are the keywords we will be seeing some of the modules like date and time modules there are lot of modules available in the python inbuilt modules we will be seeing functions how to create our own modules and file handling in python like we can call the files in our computer using the python program modify it we can change the name all this we will be seeing in the files and how to handle the exceptions we will be seeing then we will be going to the object oriented programming in python starting with class and objects and many other topics and we will be seeing inheritance and many more all this we will be covering in our course so let's start together exploring the python programming language